guys, it's John here from Horror Fiend Reviews and today is day number 6 of the 31 Days of Horror and today we're going to be talking about the movie Found so without further ado, let's get into the review Okay, I'm going to start by saying first and foremost this movie is fucked up it's brilliant, it's 100% original but it's fucked up so I'm going to put that out there. This this movie is about a kid called Marty, and Marty is a typical young boy, very much like us in the horror community. He loves horror movies, is obsessed with them. He's watched countless horror movies. He goes bowling, and he borrows his brother's bowling bag. When he looks in the bowling bag at the bowling alley, which he is then transported from his brother's room to the bowling alley, he opens the bag to go his turn, and there's a human head. Yep. Human head. He then checks back in his brother's room every week or so. Sure thing, another head, another head, another head. Weirdly enough, he doesn't get freaked out, tell his parents and call the cops like most people would. He's oddly curious and he's holding this like family secret with him. I would not keep that kind of secret, man. If I found out my sibling was a serial killer, then I'd fucking narc on that motherfucker. Hands down. Yeah, I mean, the, the plot from here on is a bit all over the place but the underlying story is that after Marty finds out that his brother's a serial killer he then finds out that his brother has this this videotape that it's this extreme exploitation horror movie that is extremely graphic it's very sick very sick it's called headless which if you know anything about the movie found you'll know that they actually made a version of headless it was like a crowdfunded thing so it's like, that's the movie within the movie found. So I've not personally checked that out, but we'll see, we'll see. This movie was was quite enough for me, to be honest. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, it's this coming of age story and Marty's bullied. He doesn't defend himself. There's a lot of underlying issues within the family. Obviously his brother is psychotic and doesn't get along well with his parents. And there's a lot of abuse that happens. Um, Marty is continually beaten by his dad and his mum. They don't really care for him as much as they should. And it feels like it's his brother, even though his brother is psychotic, his brother's the one that takes care of him. And it's this bond that they've got. His brother then finds out that Marty knows he's a serial killer. He walks in his room one day and finds Marty in the mask that he uses. It's this like gas mask. And he demands to know like what does he know and how much does he know? And then it's this like brotherly bond where they, they, they bond over this fucked up situation. And I mean it's poetic in a way, but the brother kills people. The overall story of this movie is is phenomenal. It's very original, it's very independent, but the the overall story is the thing that saves this movie and makes it as good as what it is. And when you finally reach the end of this movie, the last 10 minutes or so, is this left turn into holy fuck, what the fuck am I watching, Bill, where you question reality. You're questioning if your eyes are actually seeing this. I mean, I watched this uh, a good few years ago. Still to this day, it's still, it's stuck in my head. This final scene is stuck in my head. I cannot get it out. And I mean, I, I you know, I'm not even gonna spoil it because this takes this left turn into fuck knows where Vil, who knows, what the fuck is going on if you're into like shock factor endings then this is definitely a movie for you and the reason i chose this as part of my 31 days of horror is just because i don't see them i don't see many people talking about this movie but it's not a movie that many people have seen and i just wanted to shine shine a light on that it's it's a fantastic movie it's beautifully shot some of the scenes in this movie are stunning and that's why I've, I've picked this in my 31 days of horror so definitely tune in tomorrow for day seven of the 31 days of horror all social media links are in the description below don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know is found a movie that you've seen have you seen headless let me know your thoughts in the comments below this has been horror fiend reviews i've been john and i will catch you later <laughs>